We are back in Anaheim, California for the third stop of the 2011 Pro Circuit. Chris Puckett up in the booth with Gandhi and Walshy. Guys, we are watching the winner's bracket finals. Eon Instinct leading status quo, our number one seed, two to zero. It's time for game number three as we're getting it started right now. Capture the flag on Android. So here we go, we are getting this one started right now. I'd love to kick it off with a member of the blue team. There's I Got Your Pistola, 39 kills after two games. This kid has been going off on the main stage, plus 12 in that last game type in Team Slayer. Pistola is on top of his game, just like he was back in Dallas. I'm just glad I could win some tournaments in Halo 1 before he was born, so. <laughs> He gets the first strike, so continuing that spree here against status quo in game number three. Coming up behind Ace, he's going to pick up kill number two before finally being finished off here. But three players from status quo are down. Instinct has total control of the map with Lunchbox carrying those rockets. And Roy, his twin brother, is going to be moving flag number one. This may be... Actually, it is going to be a 30-second flag cap oh. here from Instinct. Look at that, throwing the flag up. Now, we haven't seen that strat with running the flag yet. Walshy, is that going to be the main route to take with that flag? Um, I feel like if you don't have the entire team dead, that's a good <laughs> way to go. But, like, Instinct right there could have just, you know, ran wherever they wanted to that last flag. They had the other team slayed. Like, I don't see too many teams tossing it up and run it by mill, but when you outside that team that badly, you can do whatever you want. Walsh, right now we got Ogre 2 up on our screen. Talk to us about this guy. You teamed with them for so many years, creating the original dynasty here in Halo. What do you like about Tom's gameplay, and why is he still on top of the game after so many years? Uh, without a doubt, one of the smartest players out there. Like, you probably hear me get a lot of credit for objective and all that sort, but he's... He's one of those players that you see make so few mistakes. We had a lunchbox being taken down. We're going back to Ogre 2. I'd love to actually stay on him for a bit. He's the greatest of all time. He actually has just a few more tournament wins than you. Dave, how many uh, do you have? <laughs> I think I have 23. And I think uh, last year he got three and then one this year. So I, I'd say it's pretty safe to say he's out of reach. And, you know, you can pretty much call him the greatest of all time right now because he really is. Tom in his base, throwing grenades down low, knows there's a player from status quo down there, playing this one super patiently, waiting for SQ to push up and catch him flame sword off guard here, and he's just gonna leave that kill, allowing Lunchbox to finish it. Meanwhile, we have a flag being moved by status quo, enabled trying to keep it alive. And that just goes to show the confidence that he has in his team. Right there, you'll see so many of those teams, like even in the you know top eight, that'll jump out and challenge that. And had he died right there, that was an unnecessary death. Like, Tom did not make a mistake right there and played that perfect. Assault losing that DMR battle. Actually, he will stay alive. I thought Ogre 2 was going to hit that final headshot. Now, finding Flamesword. Flamesword is going to converge on him with Assault to take him down finally. We take our screen to Lunchbox, one of the twin brothers from Urbana, Illinois. Scott, you love these facts, right? Yeah. <laughs> They're so awesome. Now, the thing that interests me is the routes players choose to take on this map. It seems as though every team has a different strategy going in off the beginning. Walsh, what do you think is most effective? It's the first time it's been played in, so it's really hard to tell what has been the best, most effective. But our team has had a lot of success just staying up top. It just feels like you can do so much damage as long as you're all together. And when we're down in numbers, we like to be on the bottom of the map because we can just hopefully draw some of them down low or get away and sneak away. We just watched Ace put in flag number one for status quo, so we're all tied up 1-1. Remember, here on Android, we are going to five flags. Ace spotting two players spawning down low over here on the yellow side, putting shots on both, almost took out Ogre 2, and while he was doing that, the rest of his team was trying to lock down the green side as Enable started a flag run, but knowing that we had instinct with the numbers. He's going to have to put that flag away. And Enable can't get into a group. He is the main slayer for this team, but he hasn't really shined yet. And right now, Instinct's throwing with a kind of a counter cap already as Ogre 2 puts in the second flag. 
brilliant flag run, and um, enables just being shut down because Instinct does such a good job of making sure they don't lose track of players. They know, all right, we killed three of them. We're missing one. Just their awareness is off the charts. Oh, Tommy oh. getting the business from Enable. Such fast shots there. I thought he was going to take him down, but missed with that last one, and Enable makes him pay. But we're taking our screen to Roy. Roy's seeing two flags in front of him going for the cap here. Oh. And he's able to put it in for flag number three. Ace was unable to grab the flag from the instinct base in time. Yep, Roy snatched up that flag before lunch could get. And like always, he's like, I'll take the credit for these twins. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, sir. Enable putting shots, finally taking down Roy. So we've seen Enable take down Ogre 2 in a one-on-one. -on -one. We've seen Enable take down Roy. So he's starting to get in a groove when we can. Genius, I'd love to go back to his screen. Right now, though, you are watching I Got Your Pistol, who's definitely the MVP in this match so far after two games. Just inflicts so much damage right there. He, there is no reason for him to even be able to get a kill, but he sticks the player before dying. Such an awesome play. We're going to take our screen back and forth between Enable and Pistol for the next minute here as Instinct has the lead in game number three and a 2-0 lead in the series. If they win this game, they will secure a spot in our championship match. Very fascinating to me that Enable did not pick up the jetpack. I feel like the jetpack dominates this game type for some reason. Walsh, is that accurate or inaccurate? I personally don't like the jetpack on this, but I have been very frustrated against players that use it very well. And just like you said, you just picked it up right there. Enable challenging quite a bit so far in this game. He is going to be cleaned up once again by instinct. As soon as they call you out, you got to expect a second player coming in the next two seconds. Incredible teamwork from Instinct. Status quo, although they are starting to win their individual battles, they just can't gain any control of the map. And now Ogre 2 is running in the fourth flag as Pistola is going to clear out his base. Four to one. I feel like we've been watching this game forever. There's been so much action, <laughs> but when you look at the clock, only six minutes have ticked off that clock so far. This is a pretty fast game type. We've already seen four captures out of Instinct. SQ's making a mistake. Uh, they seem to try to just cap immediately once they get to the other team's base. And against Instinct, you got to start getting in your groove. Like, you got to outslay that team. Like, right now, they have three of them dead. And unless they have all four alive, like, see right there, they just gave up their full control that they could have had. Right now, I would not even try to run the flag against Instinct. I would go for kills and try to get an all four down again, hopefully. Have to slay to keep up with instinct. You very, do. very fast. They're a scary team when they have control. So you just got like, especially right now with them being down 4-1, like you have to get in some sort of groove. Your only hope is to like get control and get like a double cap, or just you know make sure that they don't get a cap. And for those of you out there who are trying to get better at Halo Reach, you can learn from all of these guys on Instinct. I love how Lunchbox played that last flag, didn't even go for the return. Instead, he was looking around, trying to find the injured players, was able to pick up two kills, letting the flag return on its own. And now you got just more map control here as Instinct continues to outslay the status quo squad. But SQ does have three up, and Flamesword is trying to get into this Instinct base. Immediately shut down on the ramps once again. SQ can't get anything going, guys. Like I said, we have yet to see SQ have all four of them down and do a good flag run where they don't get control yet. And part of that has to do with not, you know, run the correct way. Like Flame last time ran it towards yellow and got caught in one on one with Ogre too and gave up, you know, gave up an easy kill that they could have avoided if he ran it the other way. Now, it seems as though Instinct does such a good job at always having one guy alive. Even if three down, it's as if they hide and that stops status quo from getting full control. Walsh, how do you really keep up with that? That's the thing is, uh, like, Instinct's awareness against other teams is they don't allow someone to sneak by. They, they should have a good idea where that. So, like, for example, Instinct, they'll be like, all right, they spawned at yellow. If they kill two or three guys there, they're assuming that last guy's yellow, so they'll, they'll search out all of yellow. They're not searching the entire map. They're not gonna waste their time searching their base, searching, you know, the other team's base, searching green. They know that that person should be at that spot, and if he isn't, then they can kind of narrow down their options where he's at. We did have three down for Instinct, but Pistol was that fourth member alive. Now we have three members up for Instinct as Lunchbox comes off the respawn. And Ogre 2 is going to connect on some nice shots, top, middle, taking out Ace, putting more shots on a player over at Yo, and now he's going to flank while Roy is going to get taken out inside the base. 
three dead once again for Instinct. It looks like Pistola is going to stay alive. Bottom, middle, and Naval's looking for him. And Launchbox had a rocket. Good trade with the rocket guy right there. That was another problem that SQ's been having this entire series is Instinct's the first one to get the power weapons. You know, even if SQ gets control of them back, they've already used half the rockets or half the snipe clips. So you have to try to get control of that power weapon as early as possible. Or if you can't, at least get good positioning. Like they could have all been at the top of the map and hopefully just shooting down on them and hopefully let the rocket guy make a mistake. We got Assault trying to push a flag here for SQ. Flame Sword goes down, but we have Enable and Ace protecting. Looks like Ace will be taken down. Enable oh. trying to prevent a player from tossing out his flag, but they do get the toss bottom middle. That was Roy doing it. But here we go. Status Quo is on the board with their second flag, 4-2. to two. Right after no, that, might get countered counter. on. Yep, let's see right there. It looks like they're most likely going to counter. Four they... dead for status quo. <laughs> this one's all over, That Walsh. one cap was not worth it. They need to be able to get the caps while keeping control. And Instinct remains undefeated, taking down status quo 3-0. to zero. This team just looks unbeatable right now in this tournament. I don't know if anyone can possibly beat Instinct anytime soon they just seem to understand the game better status quo doing a great job at contending or contending with them up until about halfway of the game and then instinct just pulls away taking a look at the stats the slang column is pretty similar plus two out of roy launchbox puts up positive two as well on the other side and naval dropping 21 kills but status quo getting swept by eon instinct so guys instinct will advance to our championship match Status quo will drop down to the loser's bracket, but we don't know who they will be playing against yet. Yeah, and that's going to be, it's going to be classic against Warriors right now on our feature station. So I think the team who has the best chance to come out of that would be Warriors to beat status quo. If Warriors can get there, they're down 5-3, to three, I believe. So we will get a floor update for you guys after this commercial break. While you're waiting, you might as well take this time to buy the MLG membership for just 30 bucks. You get 12 months of high-quality streams, discounts on our merch, all kinds of awesomeness. And if you're a cheap guy like me, yeah, go for the three-monther. It's only $9.99. We will be back. Walshy, thank you so much for joining us in the booth. And it's I'm super happy to have you back on top thank here you. in Anaheim.